Ladies and gentlemen, the Honorable President of India, Sri Pranab Mukherjee. Welcome to the inaugural function of the Coir Board's Diamond Jubilee Celebrations. This seminar and exhibition is being organized by the Coir Board as part of its Diamond Jubilee Celebrations and is focused on the latest scientific and technical advances in Coir Fiber and PITH in order to create integrated value chain development of both the products in view of the present concerns of the world towards sustainable natural materials. The seminar and exhibition will bring together various universities, research and technological centers, companies, and all those interested in these amazing materials. Sarva Pratham, main manch par biraje mananiya Rashtrapati ji evam sabhi ganmanya atithiyon se anurodh karungi ki ve deep prajwalit kar Coir Board ki Hirak Jayanti samaroh ka shubharambh kare. It is my proud privilege to welcome you to the inauguration of the Diamond Jubilee celebration of the Choir Board. We are deeply encouraged by the august presence of respected President of India, who despite his other important engagements, agreed to grace this occasion. I am sure, sir, that your presence will encourage the vast multitude of Choir artisans, manufacturers and exporters of this country as also all others associated with the development of choir sector. We are also grateful for the presence of the Honorable Finance Minister, Sri P. Chitamram, Professor Kurian, and Dr. Shashi Tharoor today as our guests of honor. Choir Board, as you are aware, was set up as a statutory body under an act of parliament in 1953. With the keen interest taken by the Honorable Minister for MSME, the government's support to the choir board and the choir sector is being strengthened. Rejuvenation, modernization, and technology upgradation scheme of the choir industry, remote. And the scheme for fund for regeneration of traditional industries, Furti, are two important interventions which have been infusing technology to make the choir industries more competitive. 26 choir clusters have been taken up for development under Sfurti by providing common facilities and other infrastructural support. As a part of the Diamond Jubilee celebrations, the board has planned a series of activities to be held during the, during the month of November. These include World Choir Fair, coinciding with the India International Trade Fair 2013, exhibitions at Dilli Hart and other locations, international buyer-seller meets, national seminar on innovative choir products, 
women's meet on self-employment opportunities in the choir industry, and choir roadshow from, uh, from Kanyakumari to Jambuntavi to popularize the environment-friendly properties of choir products and the contributions of this industry to the rural economy. I hope the Diamond Jubilee celebrations will generate awareness about the inherent potential of the sector for employment generation, sustainable development, and exports. I am sure that under the able leadership of Professor Balachandran, Chairman of the Choir Board, the Board will continue to innovate, diversify, and add higher value to products, thereby helping choir workers and contributing to the inclusive growth of the economy. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I now request Chairman Choir Board, Professor G. Balachandran, to present a special memento on behalf of Choir Board. This is a photograph of Gandhi Ji made of choir skin. Choir Board is creating history in the national capital today with the inauguration of its Diamond Jubilee celebrations by the Honorable President of India. It is for the first time the first citizen of the country is addressing a function of the Choir Board. <clears throat> Sir, we are indeed fortunate and privileged to have you here today. The choir industry is in existence for the past many centuries in the state of Kerala, even before the arrival of Vasco de Gama. Two Europeans, Dara and Smail, started an organized factory in Alepi in the year 1859, that is 154 years back. Today, the industry is earning more than a thousand crores as foreign exchange for the country. But use of, <coughs> use of choir has not become extensively popular in our country. The aim of the World Choir Fair in Delhi is to popularize choir in the domestic as well as international markets. Coconut palm is known as Kalpa Theru and is, provides the world a viable solution to fight against problems of climate change through its products like choir fiber and choir pit. Although there are 93 countries producing <coughs> choir products, but only 10 utilize the coconut husk for producing choir fiber and pit. That too, at an approximate utilization level of 25%. I must state that in our endeavor to bring choir to the forefront, we have received substantial support of our Honorable Minister Sri Munyapaji, the Clear and uh, Industry, and Sri Chidambaranji, Respected Finance Minister, has been generous with the choir board. I am grateful for his kind presence. As of now, 
we have more than 100 products developed out of choir as part of diamond jubilee celebrations choir board flagged off choir kranthi express for the indian choir road show from kanyagumari to kashmir on 5th november with innovative choir products on display the road show has now reached new delhi and will cover 21 states including jammu and kashmir by taking the choir products to the doorsteps of people across the country we hope to make choir and choir products more popular among the people especially in the younger generations sir the natural fibers have wasted enough time in competing with each other in the meeting of the intergovernmental group on hard fibers i had made a strong case before the member states that while choir alone is considered as a flooring material when mixed with other natural fibers like silk jute sisal and pineapple choir can be used for manufacturing upholstery soft luggage wall covering and even wearing apparel like jackets through modernization mechanization diversification and commercialization we aspire to revolutionize the choir industry for which we seek your guidance and support challenges ahead are many but which sustained and uh, concerted efforts and the continued patronage of all our stakeholders we have overcome all the hurdles the faith responded by by all of you gives me the strength to march ahead with confidence and optimism thank you jai hind it's a great pleasure and privilege for me as an mp from koyar country to be with you to celebrate the inauguration of the koyar board's diamond jubilee celebrations it's especially a matter of great honor to have the honorable president of india in our midst on this occasion i would also like to congratulate the koyar board on attaining the landmark of their diamond jubilee i'm particularly delighted to be present here as my home state kerala is the home of almost the entire choir industry choir is a british mispronunciation of the malayalam word kayar but i suppose we are stuck with it kerala accounts for almost 61% of overall coconut production in india and over 85% of the production of overall choir products in the country the choir industry in india sustains more than 7 lakh workers in the rural areas of which 80% are women in kerala the industry is second only to agriculture as a source of employment and employs nearly 4 lakh persons uh, as i said these are principally women as we've just been told the industry was established more than 150 years ago in kerala and today choir and choir products are exported to more than 112 countries in 2012-13 Coir products worth 1116 crores were exported. As the coir industry faces these challenges in the era of globalization, it's important to focus on introducing new products by going for innovative product substitution, by developing better technology and management practices, by creating new strategies for market development and export promotion, and through programs for widening husk collection. The most important element in the coir industry apart from the raw material is of course the skill of the workers the artisans the government of india has set a target of skilling 500 million people by 2022 which will need a structured approach involving all stakeholders to achieve this target the government and indian industry bodies have teamed together to set up a national skill development agency the coir board should synergize with the nsda and devise new training programs to enhance skill levels in the industry another important aspect that the coir industry needs to focus on today is innovation not just innovating new products which they're doing a good job of already but also innovating new business strategies in order to sustain the industry and take it on a high growth path our honorable prime minister dr manmohan singh has declared the ongoing decade 2010 to 2020 as the decade of innovation 
Our aim is to make our scientific prowess relevant to the needs of the modern economy, as well as to our traditional occupations. The coir industry must collaborate with the National Innovation Council so as to formulate a plan to foster innovation in this sector. This diamond jubilee of the coir board should become the turning point for the revival of the coir industry in India. I know that Professor Balachandran has been giving great leadership to this institution, and as a minister from Kerala, I would support the board in all its initiatives to promote this vital source of livelihood for our people. I once again congratulate the Choir Board on its Diamond Jubilee and wish it all the very best in its future endeavors. It's a great privilege and honor for me to be here with you and say a few words about the choir industry. And we are all blessed and honored that our Rashtrapati ji is inaugurating this jubilee, diamond jubilee of the Kaya board. In fact, as has already been said, the Kaya industry engages about seven lakhs of workers, most of whom are women and who are below poverty line. That our Rashtrapati ji is here shows his concern and consideration for these poor people in the rural area. I, I also join the Ministry of MSME and the Kair Board and the Chairman in welcoming our Rashtrapati ji once again. I have a right because I am also from Kerala where Kair industry is flourishing. Sir, I, I also welcome you once again. Now, as has been already said, this is the biggest uh, employer in the rural sector, especially for women. It is also an export earner, ex foreign exchange earner. And if you see the records, you can see year by year the foreign exchange earning is increasing. And last year it has touched, uh, it has crossed 1,000 crores. It has already been mentioned here by the secretary. That means it has a lot of scope for earning foreign exchange. Cardboard Chairman G. Balachandran has painted a very optimistic picture. I'm very happy about that because when I was a minister in charge of industry for about two years, I had the fortune of uh, being the minister for this sector. Then I found how difficult it was for to allow to get into operation the mechanization. At that time, see, there was a threat from the synthetic fiber. Also competition from Sri Lanka and other countries. And in fact, we were afraid that this industry may die. This industry may perish. At that time, we wanted modernization. And for that, mechanization is needed. I initiated but there was stiff resistance. And therefore, we could not do it as we wanted. But today that atmosphere is gone. The workers, especially in Kerala, have come on board. They are all for modernization and they are all for mechanization. That is a good sign. Another thing is the preference world over for uh, natural textiles. Because earlier synthetic, there was a preference for synthetic fiber. Now, because the world, there is better conscience, uh, consciousness about the, the environment friendliness and for natural fiber, therefore, world over there is demand for natural fiber. Therefore, the demand of Kair fiber is also on the increase. That's a favorable ambience and atmosphere we are having now. And furthermore, I am very happy to say that R&D under the Kair board has done very well. Especially after Professor Balachandran has taken over, it has seen an impetus, no doubt about that. And they have produced wonderf wonderful items. 